Hey, 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 there you are. Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Merry Christmas. Happy Holidays to everybody. Happy New Year too while I'm at it. And not while I'm at it. I'm going to go get a beer. Come join me. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Hey everybody, Merry Christmas! Here we are, Christmas Eve. Hope everybody's been good. Should get some good stuff from Santa Claus. Today's beer, we got St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. Belgian Abbey Ale, guys. I'm going to read what's on the back of the bottle here. I don't want this to be a 20 minute video, but Christmas Eve. Uh, St. Bernard, Bernard's Christmas Ale. Abbey Ale Brewery St. Bernard was founded in 1946 in Wattau province of West Flanders in Belgium. These exceptional quality ales are brewed by using only the finest malts, local grown hops, yeast, and artesian water pumped from a depth of 500 feet. After the brewing process, these traditional ales are matured in tanks for three months before being bottled conditioned. The results in a naturally carbonated living ale which can age for up to 15 years and will satisfy the taste of even the most discriminating connoisseurs. St. Bernard's Christmas Ale is the youngest descendant in the illustrious family of delicious Abbey Ales brewed by the brewery. St. Bernard's since 1946. This specialty ale of 10% ABV is characterized by its deep dark color with a creamy thick head and a full almost velvety mouthfeel with a fruity nose. It is a seasonal ale brewed annually for the holiday season. The long winter nights are perfect moments to savor this ale with family and friends and enjoy its unique complex taste. Christmas Eve seems to be a good time to do it. Yeah! Let's do it. Alright guys, uh, Belgian Strong Dark Ale, 10% winter time availability. Food pairing cuisine is barbecue, cheeses, sharp blue cheddar, your pungent cheeses, gorgonzola Limburger, the meat is beef and grill meat. Glassware is a snifter, a tulip, oversized wine glass, a chalice. Uh, this poured into something. This is an exceptional beer, and it needs to be uh, enjoyed in the right glass. Don't pour it. Don't pour it in a paper cup. Don't pour it in a red solo cup. That wouldn't be cool. Uh, guys, this beer can be cellared uh, for years and years and years. Ten percent beer, uh, not a super strong hot presence. Let's get the cage and the cork out of this bad boy. Merry Christmas again. If I didn't tell you that. I did. I'm going to tell you that probably a couple times before it's over with today. Alright guys, sometimes I can twist these things off and sometimes, oh yeah, this one is history. Let's see if we get any smoke. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, very nice. Into the glass for good guys. St. Bernardus Christmas Ale. I know this is going to be awesome. Alright guys, there's a bottle for y'all to take a glance at. Over into the light. Oh, it is a very murky... It's a very brown color. I cannot see through it. It's a slight tinges around the outside of the glass, which is brown, especially around the bottom there. A lot of bubbles is pulling close to here, streaming up. Not very small bubbles, uh, they're fairly big bubbles. Fairly big bubbles on the top there, so let's get a nose on it. Oh yeah. Uh, I'm getting a lot of dark fruit there, and raisins and figs and dates and, and, and some roasty caramel. Maybe some plums. Oh wow. That smells delicious, guys. It smells wonderful. Let's give it a taste to the lips. Merry Christmas, everybody. Christmas Eve. Cheers. Oh, wow. This is awesome. I knew it would be. Everything St. Bernardus does is, is, is delicious. It's 
got a very nice sweetness to it. Not overly sweet. Dark fruit, figs, dates, raisins, everything on the nose you get on the taste. Very nice, very complex. Wow. Awesome beer. Awesome Christmas beer. Merry Christmas, everybody. Hope everything's uh, going well for you this holiday season. And it's right out of the fridge. We're going to let it warm up. Let the other half taste it. You know the deal and the drill. Be right back. We'll do the final chug on this one. This is a big bottle. You need to share this. You drink it by yourself. You're a pig. Merry Christmas. Be right back. Hey right, guys, I'm back. This is an excellent beer. It's most wonderful. Wonderful beer for Christmas Eve. The other half had loved it. He thought it was excellent just as, as well as I do. Final chug, guys. Most excellent. A lot of dark fruit. Figs, raisins, dates, plums, grapes, caramely. Nice Belgian yeast to go with this. It's very pleasant. Very nice for Christmas Eve. And speaking of Christmas Eve, I've got a lot of things going on tonight. I'm a pretty busy man. I've got, got to get it on. Uh, guys, I think this is a 9 out of 10. I think it is a very well made beer. If you see this, you should pick it up because uh, it's a seasonal beer and they won't do it. Uh, but so many of these, and once it's gone, it's gone till next year. So, that being said, uh, Beer Adam comes up at 93, which is in their exceptional range. So, hmm. And Great Beer comes up with 99 overall and 99 in the style. So, that's just kicking right on the door of the 10. And I'd agree. It's, it is a very well made beer. 10%, not getting that alcohol really. Uh, not like a 10%. You might be, it tastes more like an 8% or a 7% very well made beer. I liked it. I loved it. I'll say that. Yeah. It's 9 out of 10 guys. If you've had this one, give me some comments back on this one. Whether you liked it, didn't like it, or whatever the deal was. I thought it was an excellent beer. And Merry Christmas everybody. Hit the like button. Let's look in the fridge tomorrow. I hope Santa Claus brings you what you want. Was you good? Hope you was. Go well, back tomorrow. We're going to look in the fridge. You'll be opening up presents. Look and see what you got. And I'll be drinking beer. See you then.